Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. I'm going to talk about what is an amino acid, okay? Amino acids basically are the building blocks of protein. And when you have amino acids, you have a chain of them. Uh, it makes different types of protein, okay? So when you consume protein, your body breaks it down with the help of acid and enzymes into the smallest particles of amino acids. And this happens mainly in the liver and then your body tissue starts reassembling these amino acids into many different structures, uh, making genes, making blood, tissue, muscle, collagen, neurotransmitters. That's like hormones through the nervous system. Hormones, which are actually through the blood. Skin, hair, organs, enzymes, antibiotics, they're all made from protein. Um, so your body has to make them. So um, you have simple proteins which are made from several amino acids and very complex protein that's made from thousands of amino acids. It's just like, it's an, it's an interesting combination because you have all these different combinations of amino acids that do certain functions. And there's certain genes or instructions or blueprints that tell the body how to reassemble these things. Okay, so you have this whole... Uh, translation unit, you have this whole blueprint unit, and you have the building unit of the cell to make body tissue. Uh, so it's controlled by genes. And um, basically, amino acids are needed to make 50,000 different combinations. It's amazing. Uh, so amino acids are a little bit different than uh, proteins and fats in that uh, they ha it has an extra nitrogen connected. So it has carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, which allows the protein to repair and build tissue. So amino acids are necessary in the uh, repair of the body, especially during stress. That's why when you're under stress, you need more protein. Uh, controls, oh my gosh, hunger, mood, emotion, many, many different things. Sleep. Um, you also have essential amino acids and non-essential amino acids. Essential basically means that you can't make these. It must be gotten from the diet. Now, your, um, your microbes in your gut have the capacity to make those, but not in sufficient quantities. Okay, so you're going to need to have certain external uh, types of protein to go in the body because you're not going to have those. But then you have non-essential amino acids, which doesn't mean that it's non-essential. It means that your body can make them. Your liver has a capacity to make certain amino acids from other proteins that you eat, all right? Um, also, the egg happens to be the most complete, high-quality protein. It has everything in the right uh, combination. In fact, there's certain protein standards that are based on the egg, okay? So if someone tells you that egg is not healthy, an egg is a very, very complete protein, all right? I consume four eggs every single day. Now, I, I did a seminar at Exxon um, once, and uh, they pretty much said I couldn't come back to do future seminars, and I asked them why. And they says, well, you're recommending 45 eggs a day. I said, no, I recommend four to five eggs a day. They go, oh, a little miscommunication. So they did invite me back. Um, the bone marrow in your body uh, makes red blood cells, Two, uh, two and a half million red blood cells every single second. So it's requiring a lot of amino acids to do that. Then your GI tract replaces uh, the lining every four days, requiring amino acids. And then the skin replaces itself every 24 days. And the bone collagen replaces itself every 30 years. So it takes a little bit longer, but that all requires amino acids. So basically, um, you do need complete proteins, you need high quality protein. Uh, you don't need too much, you just need just the right amount because if you have too much protein, it could clog up the liver. So between three and six ounces per meal would be optimum. All right, thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Please click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.